Mary Lambert Singh. I think that the medicalization of fatness is one of the most dangerous, irresponsible, and dehumanizing things the medical community has done in recent history. Calling obesity a disease. Oh, she put an asterisk. Very interesting. Calling obesity a disease is the laziest bullshit, and it's absolutely detrimental to public health. Oh, my God. Matt Damon. All right. If you didn't think you can get stupider, you can. So remember, never go full Mary. If you ever look at yourself in the mirror and think, I am a dumb cunt, remember about Mary. There's something about Mary, and I'll give you a hint. It's a double-digit IQ. I think that the medicalization of fatness, medicalization of fatness, how about fat people are constantly needing medical attention or very frequently? Um, Irresponsible? I think not taking care of your health is irresponsible. I think that's very dangerous. Uh, There's nothing dehumanizing about you being obese and not taking care of your health. There's nothing dehumanizing. You're a human, you're just a fat human. Uh, I do find it interesting that she left the E. Mary Lambert is a fan of the vowel E. Very, very impressed because she put an asterisk over the I. Over the I, I don't know. She eyeballed, She, she, she doesn't like eyes. Maybe it's the dot. But she wrote the word obesity and put an asterisk where the I is. So it really just says the word because all that's missing, it looks like the dot on the I. So usually people put an asterisk over the E. So it just seems like these liberals just fucking hate vowels. What is it with the vowels? I mean, can we get some save the E, save the I? You know, all E's matter, all I's matter. I think they do. I think they do. I don't think we should be... I don't think we should be hating on vowels. I think they're very important. They didn't do anything. I know oftentimes in Wheel of Fortune, you have to buy a vowel. I understand it can be a little bit pricey, but at the same time, vowels are very effective. So stop hating on the vowels. The E's and the I's, just leave them alone. All right, but let's just shit all over the last thing here. Uh, Calling obesity a disease is the laziest bullshit. I'll tell you what's lazy. Usually the person that's obese Calling obesity a disease is the laziest bullshit. It is a disease. It's a result. It, it, obesity is usually a culmination. It's usually a perfect storm of like five diseases, but it's a result of your lifestyle habits. So calling obesity a disease is not the laziest bullshit. The people that are executing on their daily habits that lead them to be lazy and obese is the problem. Uh, it's not detrimental to public health. Being obese is detrimental to public health, a.k.a. The vast majority of people having complications with COVID are obese and have other comorbidities that can be prevented with lifestyle changes. So go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. All right. That's a blue check. I don't know what she does or what she, I don't know why she has a blue check. So you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to that person because Instagram and Twitter Gave her that little verified. This person's an important person. You should listen to what they have to say. If you want to die young and unhealthy, if you want to be obese, I mean, tell me you're obese without telling me you're obese. Just complaining about fucking nothing. Complaining about (laughs) things that are preventable. It's preventable. If you don't want a black eye, stop punching yourself in the face. It really hurts my dick when I keep punching it. And stop punching yourself in the dick. Just stop. Stop doing all the things that lead to you being unhealthy and obese. Stop doing those things. Stop doing those things. Otherwise, you're going to stay the same. Stop doing those things that make you feel miserable. No, I don't want to change. I just want everyone else to be nicer to me, and I don't want to keep on doing the same old thing. It's medical fat phobia. 